Hi, uh, let's look at how to test the significance of correlation coefficient. So T test for coefficient of correlation. So quickly, let's see how to do this. They say a study of 20 worldwide financial institutions showed the correlation between their assets and pre-tax profit to be 0 0.86. There was a point here, so it means there is zero, so 0 0.86. Now, at 0 0.05 significance level, can you conclude that there is a positive correlation between the values? So, quickly, the steps involve step one. Now, pre-tax profit means profit before tax. The profit that you have before you were being taxed. Okay, pre-tax, before tax. So, 20 is a small sample, right? Okay. So, step one. You state the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis. Now here we use rule because you are testing for correlation coefficient. You use rule. We call this rule. It looks like P. It's spelled R H O. Okay. Now let's see. They said, can we conclude that there is a positive correlation in the what in the population? Positive means what? Greater than zero. You know when you have a greater than sign, I, as we've learned earlier, we say greater than sign usually go for H one, isn't it? So greater than zero goes for H one. Then opposite of greater than is less than or equal to zero so step two in the step two you are going to state the you are going to choose a level of significance but here you've been given so you only state what has been given to you as 0 0.05 and this is a this is a right tail test when you have a greater than sign it's a right tail test okay right tailed test you can also say it's a one two, okay? It's one two or right two. When you are being specific, that's when you say it's right two, or you can say left two if it's left two. But when you are not specific, it's one two, okay? So step three. In the step three, you tell them the test statistic you are using. So the test statistic. Is the t distribution. Okay, we are using a T distribution. Okay, then step four. In the step four, you are going to determine the decision rule. Now, to determine the decision rule, you need you need the Z, the two Ts. Okay, the critical value of T and the computed T. So to do that. You find a degree of freedom. Now, in this topic, in this correlation of coefficient test for it, test for correlation of coefficients, the degree of freedom is n minus two. Okay, so our n is twenty. That's a sample size minus two. It gives you what eighteen. So, you sketch a small. Okay. You shouldn't tie the exercises. Okay. So it's a right tail test right two which is one two so you give the significance 0 0.05 to the one two if it was two tail you'd have divided the 0 0.05 by two but since it's one tail you give all three so the next thing to do is to take your t table now when you take your t table you are going to check this since it's one tail you check at where they've written one tail test okay you check out where they've written one tail test so one tail test the significance of 0 0.05 you match it against 18, degree of freedom of 18. It gives you 1.734, isn't it? 1.734. So meaning this place is positive 1.734. That's the critical value of T. Okay. So the decision will be that when your computed T is greater than the critical value of T, what do we do? We reject the null hypothesis is true. But if t is less than the critical value of t, we fail to reject h2. Okay, so let's find our critical, let's find our computed t, the calculated t. So in this, the formula for the calculated t is. Uh, R multiplying square root of n minus 2 divided by square root of 1 minus R squared. 
R stands for the coefficient of correlation. Okay, that's what the R stands for. So, the question gave us a coefficient of correlation to be 0 0.86, isn't it? It gave us 0 0.80, so we substituted it. We substituted it there, 0 0.86. Multiplying 20 minus 2 divided by square root of 1 minus 0 0.86 squared. So quickly, when you input the entire thing on your calculator, okay, when you input the whole of this on your calculator, you'll get what? 7.15. So you realize that this 7.15 falls at the region of what? Rejection. If you should plot this 7.15 on the same axis, okay, on this same T axis, you are going to plot it somewhere here which falls at the region of rejection. So that's why you reject the null hypothesis. Or you can say 7.15 is greater than 1.734. That is, the computed T is greater than the critical value of T. Is greater than the critical value of T. So, so we reject so we reject the null hypothesis HO. So since we've rejected the HO, you conclude that what? You conclude that you say we can conclude. Hence, hence, we can conclude. We can conclude that there is a there is positive correlation. There is positive correlation in the population. So we can conclude that there is positive correlation in the population since the computed T is greater than the critical value of T. So that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.